So I want to talk to you about counting the cost. Counting the cost is basically making a decision about whether something is worth it or not. And a lot of times we don't do that in our relationships. We don't count the cost first. We just impulsively blurt out whatever it is we want to say, or we run into the person and, and start up this argument or conflict or confront them um, in a just a rush of just emotion when we're reacting, or we try to have this you know perfect conversation with somebody and it just blows up in our face and or you know whatever it is a lot of times we don't count the costs and if we had we would have made a different choice but people ask me all the time it's like i don't get it like i i went i talked to this friend and i told her about how i was feeling and i told her about what was upsetting me and she got mad and blew up and just told me she couldn't be friends with me and, and the person is stunned you know or it could be a, a intimate relationship or a family relationship and i'm like have you ever done this before no that's the first time i've ever you know responded to them or or, or being uh, confronted them or it could be oh i've done that other times and you know she always blows up or she always gets mad or she always shuts me down or she always just walks away and won't talk to me it could be that way so basically you want to consider who is this person how does this person usually respond what has been my experience in the past what is this person likely to do what is it i need to say is it worth saying <clears throat> saying if the person continues to do what they usually do. Am I willing to count the cost? And what is the cost? Is it going to be a broken relationship? Is it going to be the, is, do we have a, a trip that we're going on that person's going to cut off? Does, do I need the person to help me put on a party? And if I confront the person now, the person's going to get mad and not help me with the party, or it's going to ruin Christmas, or it's going to ruin the whole night in my home with my children if I confront the their father about what happened and then he's going to be mad all night and everybody's going to be in a bad mood and there's going to be tension you need to count the cost what is the likely cost i mean you can predict it most of the time especially if you have experience with that person in other situations you will know exactly how they're going to react an angry person will be angry a defensive person will be defensive an irresponsible person will be irresponsible regarding with whatever it is. A sensitive person will get hurt and take it personal. A manipulative person is going to deny it and turn it right back on you and blame you or accuse you of doing whatever it is that you're telling them that they do. A victim per, a victim is going to be act victimized like, oh, you're, you, what are you doing to me? You know, I can't believe what you're doing to me. Everybody does this to me. It's not fair. Poor me. A healthy person will objectively listen to what you have to say and will respond trying to get more understanding, presenting their own view or their own opinion or their own part, their own experience, and try to come to a resolution. So you know, who is this person that you want to confront? Person healthy? Are you healthy? Can you do what a healthy person does? Or are you gonna be blaming and defensive and argumentative and attacking and come on too strong and accuse this person instead of expressing your feelings using I statements and allowing the person to respond and explain. So before you speak your truth, count the cost. Predict how the person is gonna react you can play the movie forward so you'll know what it's likely to be. And then sometimes you're going to decide, yeah, I'm going to speak the truth and then ask yourself, is this the right time? Is this the right time right before dinner, right before a vacation? Probably not. Or you can say, what is the best time? If you choose to count, if you choose to do that, okay, you're going to, you've counted the cost. Now you're going to predict what is the person probably going to do, and you're going to prepare yourself for that. You're going to prepare yourself to not react, to not to detach, to keep calm, to decide if you're just going to say it and walk away, or if you're going to say it and stick to it and make 
you know, try as best you can to get the person to hear what you have to say, what are you going to do? Okay, count the cost. So before you confront someone, ask yourself what the person usually does, ask yourself what the cost is going to be, and if you're willing to count the cost or pay the cost or experience the cost. Proverbs 9, 7 through 9 says, whoever corrects a mocker invites insult. So a mocker is going to mock you and insult you. Whoever rebukes a wicked man incurs abuse. So he's a wicked man, you're going to be abused. Do not rebu rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his learning. There you go. You can ask yourself, who am I dealing with? Proverbs 13, 16, every prudent man acts out of knowledge. Do you wanna be a prudent man or a prudent woman? Act from your knowledge make wise choices. Okay, so thank you for listening. I hope you'll listen and watch some more. Thanks.